Hey, what's going on guys? Yes, this is the final drug video of all time. I mean, I hope. I hope that fucking down the line I'm not like, this is the crack experience, guys. Anyways, yeah, this should be the final drug video, unless the reptilians get me. And uh, it's gonna be about shrooms. Very scary stuff. But leave a like if you guys have enjoyed this drug series. And without further ado, this is... The Shroom Experience. Yay! So about a year ago, it was the first time I left the country. I left to Amsterdam for a whole week with one of my friends, and it was really fun. But there was one thing that I wanted to try while in Amsterdam. And I'm pretty sure you guys can guess what it is. <laughs> but me and this guy are just kind of walking around when we casually see a shroom shop and, like, weed and stuff like that. And we walk in, and I'm like, I want some shrooms, okay? And he's like, okay. He didn't say okay. He's like, okay, my friend, okay. But then he's like, okay, my friend, what do you want? What do you want, my friend? And I'm like, uh, I have no idea. What are you talking about? And he's just like, do you want creative shrooms? Do you want the weak shrooms? Do you want the strong shrooms? And he shows this huge ass sh chart, okay? So I look at the chart, and there's like different, you know, fucking mushrooms, I guess. You know, some of them are rated extremely, like, insane. And others are rated, like, one star, okay? And I look at them, and I, I don't know why, to be honest. Well, I know why, but... I just decide, fuck it, man, I'm gonna go with the five stars, just why not? So I pick the most strongest shrooms, and me and my friend go back to the hotel for a bit, okay? Walking back, I was pretty nervous, I didn't know what to expect. In the beginning, I was like, yo, I'm just gonna do them on the streets, but then I was like, uh, I'm kinda scared, let's go back to the hotel, just in case I pretend I'm a fucking orange or some shit, and start trying to peel myself. Again, at the time, I had no idea what to expect, the only thing I could really go off of was the people back in, like, middle school that was like, yeah, one of my friends, he took shrooms last week, he thought he was a banana and started to peel his fucking skull in half, and I'm just like, did that really happen? I swear to God, dude, I'm never going to get over how ridiculous the stories in middle school are. I remember this one guy in my gym class went around telling people that, yeah, my friend was watching over 10,000 tabs of porno on one monitor one time, and his parents started coming upstairs, so he started trying to close it, realizing that he couldn't close it all in one time. He unplugged his computer, but his computer glitched out, and it froze everything on his monitor. Even though there was no power, the porn stayed on the screen. Green, and everyone's just like, oh my god. But the guy's like, yes, and then he had to bury his own monitor because the porn still wouldn't go away. And I'm just sitting there like, there's no way you guys actually believe this guy, right? And everyone's like, how do I prevent this? But anyways, me and my friend start walking back to the hotel. I'm panicking, okay? Once we get back to the hotel, I open up my laptop, and I start looking up all these different things, like what to expect on shrooms, what not to do, etc., etc. And the one thing everybody said was, don't look in the mirror. And I was paranoid, man. I didn't know if I was going to turn to the left and there would just be a fucking alien right in front of my face ready to kill me. Or if it was going to be just like imagination shit where it's like you think something's there, but it's not. Like, I had no idea and I was worried as hell. And eventually, I take it. I fucking eat the shrooms up. Nom, 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 nom. And... There you go. I'm sitting there, I ate the shrooms, and nothing happened for about 10 minutes. Around 15 minutes later, after I eat the shrooms, they tasted really sour. I feel like I should say that. But I eat it, and my heart starts beating, okay? Now, this was, I think, because I was panicking. I don't really know. This could have been a part of it. But I was panicking, and my heart was beating really fast, right? And about 15 minutes after it, my chest feels really heavy. And I know that sounds weird as hell, but that's the best way I can explain it. Just, my chest felt really heavy and really stiff. And I was just sitting there like, is this fucking death? Am I gonna die? So I just sit there on the verge of death, I'm thinking, for about 10 minutes, when I start seeing these little shadow people. I know that sounds terrifying, but it wasn't. It's not like they're fucking human-sized right in front of me, like, trying to grab me. Like, they were just these, these small little shadow people, like, the size of your phone, just kind of, like, floating around, like stick figures, okay? And they're just, they're just fucking flying around. I mean... <laughs> But after about five minutes of that, I'm just hit with all these different questions about random shit, about deep shit, about my own life, everything, okay? And I'm just hit with it. Just imagine drinking like 15 cups of coffee and then uh, smoking some meth, 
Okay, that's that's basically what happened. It's just nonstop questions, and I get up while I'm thinking about all this stuff, and I walk over directly in the mirror, okay? And then I just stare at myself for like five minutes. One thing to point out when I was looking at myself, I couldn't help but look at my eyeballs. The most dilated eyeballs I've ever seen. They look like bigger than a button, okay? But I'm just staring at myself, and a lot of people think like, Oh shit, Leaf, that's bad. That's that's when all the bad shit happens. But no, dude, I had like an ego boost. I just stared at myself and I'm like, I like this guy. But yeah, then after that, I just kind of walked around thinking about my own life after that. And it wasn't too bad. There were some points in time where I was just like, fuck, I really handled this situation wrong about 15 months ago when I was eating spaghetti. Like it was just the most random stuff. But overall, it wasn't that bad. I just kind of sat around and thought about stuff. I didn't really see anything after that. But that was pretty much all that happened. And about two hours later, I ended up just falling asleep, waking up a few hours later, and we ended up just getting some food. And that's pretty much it. But yeah, that was the story of the time I did shrooms. That was the only time I ever did shrooms, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is most likely going to be the last time I do a drug video, because um, I got no more stories. I mean, in the beginning, I really didn't want to do it, but I made one story video about it, and you guys just loved it. So I might tell a few more stories that are kind of around this, but it's definitely, I don't have any other stories involving the first time I did this, you know? But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Leave a like if you guys have enjoyed this whole drug series. And thank you guys so much for all the support. It's been insane. And thanks for watching, guys. Peace, peace.